Hey, what's going on, working class hustlers? You should not be looking at my fat head right now because I'm not showing it and taking up the whole screen, but you should have some audio and a wonderful, wonderful meme. Um, let's see here. Yeah, take a minute to read that. That is very, 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 very important. Working smart doesn't mean working less. It means working hard on what truly matters. I cannot stress that enough, guys. You got to work hard. You hear all these people talking about, oh, work smarter, not hard. No, no. As soon as you take the word uh, hard out of the equation, you just, you get kicked out of the success room because you have to work hard. That is a prerequisite, a prerequisite to enter the success room. I don't care how smart you are. Smart will help you, give you more success. Take hard out of the equation. You ain't going to get there. I don't care how smart you are. If you're not going to work hard, you ain't going to get it. So get the thought out of your mind. All these videos and stuff you watching that's talking about how you can work smart and not hard. Forget it. You don't believe me? Don't listen to me. Listen to all the successful people that you like and trust, like, you know, Bill Gates, like Warren Buffett, like Sir Richard Branson, like, you know, all these people, Oprah, and you're going to hear them say work hard. Maybe you'll listen to them, but no, you're a working class hustler. So you're going to listen to me. And on that note, I'm going to put my mug in here, but let me make, uh, I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to make an adjustment to the music that you have all grown to love, to know and love. <laughs> Can you see me? It's Saturday and you know what that means. Time for what to sell on Amazon. That's what we teach. But you know, it's not just about what to sell. You got to have your mind right. Get your mind right, get your money right. I got to make a few adjustments as we um, start welcoming people. What's going on, Deborah? <laughs> Somebody said, would rather listen to Horace than them. I tell you what, the people who know me and just read read this, they already know my head just got so big. <laughs> what are sales? Hey, Horace. Hey, what's going on, man? Thanks for making it. And we're gonna get going. I'm late. But again, I gotta get better at this, guys. But there's just so much to do. There we go. I hope my my uh my theme music and everything is better. Um, I updated my software. There was an update that came, and me and Jim did a we did a dry run test. See if we could fix the music, my my mic and stuff like that. So I hope you can hear me okay. All right. So I'm not gonna fool around as long as I usually do because I'm a working class hustler, guys. I'm telling you right now, 
I've been trying to get to um I've been trying to get to Sam's Club uh for the longest here. It's it's so weird because you guys were with me on the live stream my two weeks ago. My daughter uh <laughs> told me I could get the membership for like 35 bucks. I got it. And I mean, I have not been able to get in there. Um, and I found some really good deals guys. So if you thinking about it, remember what I said, you got to have that, that degree of separation. A lot of people, they're just too cheap to spend money on a membership like that. But the thing of it is you're going to make that money right back. Uh, so let's see here. We're already seven minutes into this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and do what we do. Everybody ready? Because we, oh, thank you. Somebody already gave me a like. I appreciate that. We need that, guys. That helps um, with YouTube's algorithms. We, if we get likes, especially when the video is first being made, that helps us. And then we can be able to get this video out to more people. Uh, Gina, hello. Thank you for coming. My man, Chill Will Math is here as always. Now that's a working class hustler for real. Uh, me and him been working on all types of trying to finagle ways to make things work regardless of the challenges that we have right now. And I think he gave me some good news that we're going to talk about as far as what items can be sent in to Amazon. They're constantly updating that. Sonia, Miss Coronavirus. <laughs> you know, I'm just messing with you, girl. I mean that in a, in a loving and endearing way. Uh, you're right in the, at the epicenter. Have things started to, um, to level off? You think you guys have peaked? uh in the big apple sonya let us know uh we send our our prayers and our thoughts out to you as well as anyone else that has been affected by this um we love you we support you and we thank you okay we're all getting through this together mm, six likes so far thanks guys i appreciate that we're getting better we're getting better and better on our channel about how we do things and you know what i got a feeling we're gonna take this channel to to new heights okay so let's let's do what it do guys girls you already know we have a certain ritual before we start anything we got a certain ritual so let's do it everybody you see it goes like this and you're gonna say it with me good things are supposed to happen to me. Say it again. Good things are supposed to happen to me. That is the mindset that we approach this thing with. That is the attitude. That is the mantra. That's the mission statement. And it's not over until you win. This is what to sell on Amazon. I'm Horace, also known as La Machine. La Machine. Let's go. So before we do anything, uh, da, 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 da. let's take a look at my back office. We always have to have me qualified. We always got to make sure. Uh, hold on. Let me find my mouse. It's always hiding on me. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Don says good things happen to me. Sonia says first weekend to chill. There is light at the end of the tunnel, guys. Now I want you to take what what Sonia just said. Mind you, she is a registered nurse in New York City. So if anybody knows what's going on, it's her. Now I want you to think about that. Guys, we got somebody, a working class hustler amongst us that's right there in the city as a healthcare professional. Don't you understand the value? You don't need to listen to what's going on, what's being reported by the pundits. You don't got to listen to your 
family, friends, neighbors, coworkers talking about all of this stuff. I mean, you got everything from conspiracy to religion to, oh, they're using it to try to get Trump out. All this craziness. And then you got to hear people talking about, oh, it's, it's not looking good. Oh, yeah. You know what? We got Sonya. So. So anyway, as I was saying, we're going to take a look at um, at my screen. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so you guys already know what, what you're looking at here. You, of course, you're looking at my seller central account. That's your back office. If you sell on Amazon, but for the, for the benefit of those who may watch this video later, when we're done with this video, it goes out just like any other video and it can be searched and watched by someone who may not know what this is all about. So this is, this is where it all happens. This is pretty much your control room, you know, and you can see certain things. Um, for example, I always, me being transparent, I show, this is what my current balance is. This was the most recent payment that went out to me. I didn't get a stimulus check. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that in a moment, but this was my stimulus. Okay. Uh, but if we look at today, and as you can see, today is um, April 18th. The year is 2020. We've got, I think, eight orders. Let's let's do a refresh and see. Maybe that changed. Oh, we're up to nine orders. And in the last seven days, this. And in the last 15 days, that. And in the last 30 days, this. And for those of you who follow me, you know this is down, isn't it? Um, and that's going to happen in business. But this is this is what's called transparency. This is, you know, you guys have been watching me week after week after week after week. And the numbers have just been going up and up and up and up. And now they're coming down. Well, this is transparency. What if the numbers start going down and all of a sudden Horace doesn't show you anymore? <laughs> that ain't transparency. So this is business, guys. You got to understand. Now, watch. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at that. We might as well just get into it. Look at your chart and you can see every everywhere there's a point, that's a day. So just in the last, we're looking at the last seven days, supposedly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So on the 11th, $372 in sales. On the 12th, $705 in sales. 13th, $501. 14th, $614. The 15th, we had a big uptick there, over 1000 And then down to 881 then down to to 453 now if you we can change this uh we can go let's say we'll look over the last 30 days and look at your graph you see how that that's going to move around guys you can't this is business okay just to give you a look i tell you what another thing we could do is before we get into it a little bit deeper into the we can go to reports. Uh, we can go to business reports. And you guys can do this too in your account, of course. We can go, see, and this is showing today. But we can go, let's see. What if we went year to date? Now, this is what we've done on both Amazon and Seller Fulfilled. You can change that, but this is what we've done so far, okay? Almost 61,000. Now look at, the red line is showing, it's comparing to last year. Last year for the whole year, we did 103. We're already at almost 61,000 already. So at this pace, um, I did the numbers and we're looking at this pace. 
I expect to go higher. But at this pace, we're looking to double what we did last year. And remember, guys, I'm always telling you. See, y'all about to y'all about to make me start preaching again. You know that I am the preacher when it comes to Amazon. But anyway, um, it's all about the work. And you know, I'm not a guy that tells you to quit your job. I don't encourage you one way or the other, but what I want you to understand is you don't have to think about business in terms of you quitting your job. I'm here to show you that you can keep your job and work this as a side hustle. You can call it a side hustle if you want. Uh, I generate more money through Amazon than I do on my job. Okay. I still call Amazon a side hustle because my career is truck driving. Uh, my career is what gives me my pension or retirement, whatever you might have. My career gives me my health benefits. That's when I take vacation and I'm okay with that. Now you got all kinds of videos out here that are going to tell you, Oh, quit your job. And Oh, I know how it was like. I fired my boss and Oh, I can do what everybody doesn't want that. So obviously that's available to you. If you want back in 20, I was going to quit my job in 2012. I had made the decision. I was going to quit January, 2013, uh, 2013. I should say didn't happen. <laughs> so glad it didn't. Um, and that's another story, but hold on a second. Let me just see. <laughs> Mike Henderson said, I want to be like Horace when I grow up. You know what? <laughs> Thank you very much for that compliment. Um, and that's what this channel is about. If I'm better than you and you want to get like me, you know what they say? Success leaves clues. Um, that's what we're here to do. And we all work together. So let's, I think we had enough on my account because this is all about you. And I only show you these things not to impress you, but to impress upon you the possibilities that are out here. When you believe that something is possible, when you know that it's possible, you just do it. And that's what this is all about. So check it out, guys. We're going to go over some of the news. Uh, check this out. And I'm going to show you my screen in a second. But uh, talking about Amazon. OK, let me put on my glasses here. <clears throat> OK. Um, let's see. OK, Jeff Bezos released his annual newsletter to his shareholders this week. And of course, he talked about the pandemic and what Amazon's doing. He's actually trying to have scientists and engineers uh, come up with the ability to test all employees, even those without symptoms, to ensure their safety. And he also discussed that they have filled 100,000 jobs and look to hire another 75,000 people. So, you know. But here's the um the article, you know, and it goes on and on, blah, 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 to our shareholders, whatever. But I wanted to highlight what he mentioned here. He said, reflect on this from Theodore Seuss Geisel, which is Dr. Seuss. Um, when something bad happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's just something I wanted to share with you uh, because that's what I've been encouraging from the beginning. And we got a little bit more news to talk about. Let's see here. Oh, Oh my goodness, check this out. <laughs> and, and you guys, feel free to comment on this one. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm just going to read just a little bit. Don't uh, the don't order everything store strained by the pandemic. Amazon is now discouraging people from buying so much stuff. And this was from uh, the 16th. OK. Uh, OK, so. Right now, they prefer those customers to stop hitting the order button quite so much. Overwhelmed with shoppers trying to prioritize essential items like medical supplies, paper goods, and straining to keep its workforce healthy, Amazon has begun to nudge people to order fewer products by tinkering with its interface, cutting down on advertising, and making it ever so slightly less convenient to get certain packages, certain packages delivered to people's doors. Uh, a company premised on people buying stuff online is now trying to get people to buy less stuff online. As the Wall Street Journal recently reported, Amazon in March began quietly doing away with the customers who bought this item also bought. You know how like they would always suggest, hey, if you're buying this, guess what? Other people who bought this bought that. They're quietly doing away with those widgets that recommend additional products to users based on what's in other people's cards. The company is also backpedaling on its one day shipping guarantee for prime members in Europe, setting the default instead to two days for in stock orders. So, um, you know, <laughs> let, let, let's take a moment to reflect on that. I mean, that, that, that is definitely um, indicative of the situation uh, that we're in. And I think uh, we might have one more thing to cover. Uh, well, two more things real quick. Um, just something to think about. Not necessarily um, gonna affect you, but Amazon is teasing a new health care offering for its sellers. So in other words, they might be looking to offer health care. And it looks like what they've been doing earlier this week, Amazon sent out a survey to its sellers inquiring about the types of health insurance coverage these merchants offer their own employees. The survey, the survey which Recode viewed, asked whether sellers are satisfied with the coverage or would consider alternative options now you gotta understand amazon <laughs> they have been you know kind of sticking their toe in the healthcare waters and they they're getting into everything so you know uh trust me there's an agenda behind this obviously okay so um oh real quick if you don't mind um did anybody get their um get their stimulus checks? Uh let me see. Hello Lisa. And let me see. Somebody said, what did he say? Hold on. This is going to make those that do merchant fulfill very strong if you have time and space. And we're going to talk about that in particularly um because <clears throat> of course we we had a video upload and a live stream about that and i want to talk a little bit more about that uh because this has changed my entire outlook and um and and how i uh how I look at my Amazon business because now, you know, realizing I've been leaving money on the table, pretty much just focusing on FBA. You don't have to do that. Uh, and you have to, it's all about the approach that you take. Okay. You got to be thinking, you can't think in terms of, Oh, I can't do it because dot, dot, dot. You got to think, okay, how can I make this work? You do that then there's pretty much nothing that you can't uh, accomplish with this. And we'll get into that momentarily, but let's take a look. Let me 
me see. We're going to look at my orders. We're going to look at my seller fulfilled orders. Let's see. Hold on. Over the last, yeah, we'll say 14 days. Let me see. We'll put 100. Okay. Uh, so, if you look, you're talking 35 orders in the last 14 days. And these are, mind you, these are products that I source with my coaching students. We, we source this stuff together. Uh, and look at, you got pretzels, you got deep fryers, you got panini presses. Remember, remember the video where I showed these very items, all, everything that you're looking at here, you saw in the video where I told you I was going to, I was going to put that. Look at everything you're seeing here and they all sold. Okay. So, so understand what I'm saying here and think about how this applies to you. When you're, when you're out there doing your evaluations, you're always looking typically under FBA and making sure that it can go that way. Well, sometimes the numbers don't work and you don't take the time to see, check the numbers, Merchant fulfill. Maybe that's one item that you can still make some money with. It's light. It's easy. It's, it doesn't take up a lot of space. You could be making money. And, you know, you have to build from there. Now, watch. Uh, because me being transparent, of course, we're going to talk about some of the products that didn't sell. Remember this uh, new me, if you can see it? It's a, a, a curling wand, didn't sell. Uh, remember this, didn't sell. Remember these, didn't sell. So we're going to look right now, we're going to go into my account and we're going to see, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how I would evaluate these products and um, Let me see. We have been almost 30 minutes. I'm going to try to keep this down to an to an hour. <laughs> How many times have you heard me say that? <laughs> I, I got to laugh, but but hey, you know what? Well, we're going to do it like Jesse Jackson. Keep hope alive. Let me see. Uh, Sonya Willis says more like hazard pay. Okay, so give me a second, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get into my account. Uh, and we're going to look at those products. And then we're going to evaluate them and see what could I possibly do, if anything, to, to get those products to sell. All right, so I got the curling one. Oops. What else? Uh, we got. I think this was called a um, Buzz Lightyear. Yep. Let's see. Oops. Hold on. And then oh yeah this submarine thing okay now Hang on, guys. I just want to get this right. You 
gotta love the work. Let me show you my screen here. <clears throat> Actually, before we do that, let me just okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like in my back office, and it's and it's active for eighty nine dollars. This is the product. Now, watch what we're gonna do. Because let me see. Hmm. It looks like Amazon had the product. Here, I'll show you my screen. So this is the actual product on the page. Now, now we're looking at the keeper chart. It was 89 and you see this shaded area? This is when Amazon had it. See how you got just new. Now you see Amazon, Amazon raised it. Now it's up here. Now look at the trend here. At this price and at this price, the keeper chart it didn't drop. Usually when you see a drop, so it was 89, then it dropped. That means it sold. So it sold for 59.99. Now let's look at here's what we're looking at. This is what I paid for, 26.49. That's just a system that I use. When I when I create the SKU, I put the price right in it. That way I know what I paid with tax. Now what we got to do, look at. We got to take the the ASIN we got to stick it in over here because we're seeing something. Maybe we want to try and sell it for $59.25 if we can still make money, right? So watch what happens. We paid $26.49. Uh, and if we sold it for $59.25, And we're just gonna put that it might cost say 10 bucks. And look it, we could still make $13.87 with a 23.41% return on it, uh, margin. I'm sorry, not return on investment, margin. Maybe, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking, well, it was $89 for the longest. I figured, hey, so what we might, and this, remember, this is how you're evaluating. This is how you're making your decisions. You double check. We know that it sold for at, at $59.25. We know now, even if the shipping, even if the shipping was 15 bucks, because you don't really know, you can still make $8.87 and get that product moving. You don't want to be sitting on product. Now look at your, your, your understanding. This was created. I listed this product on the eighth. Nope. That ain't true. Did, is it? Boy, it seemed like I had it out there longer than that. Yeah, I guess I did. So it really hasn't been out there that long. So if I wanted to, I could sit on it because I don't like sitting on anything more than say uh, three months. But remember, remember we had a video that talks about how to figure out your storage fees. You're not just gonna let this product sit out there in their warehouse. They're gonna charge you storage for that. And it's only fair, right? So, uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Right with you, we're gonna change it to $59.25. We're going to save it. 
and I'm gone. Okay? Now I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. And now we move on to this Toy Story thing. Uh, does anybody have any questions? I'm, I'm just going to keep moving. But um, so we can get through this. Look at. I don't know what I was thinking, but I paid ten dollars and fifty nine cents for this thing. Uh, hold on a second. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Mm. Now, mind you, you've got somebody selling this uh, Prime. Okay. Let's see, hold on a second. Let me take a look at what I got here. Oh. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> well, well, first of all, mine is I I never I forgot to change this to um <laughs> to merchant fulfilled. Um sorry. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, we'll tick on that. We'll go uh, change to fulfilled by merchant. See, this is why, and then watch, you go convert. In case you didn't know, that's how you do that. Um, <laughs> maybe that's why mine didn't sell, huh? <laughs> Hold on a second. See, that's why it's so important you know, that we're in this together. Sometimes I may see something that I didn't do right. And this is just more proof that, uh, yeah, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. I mess stuff up all the time. And yet, uh, I still do pretty good numbers. You know what? I'm not going to do anything with that because now I just turned it to um, <laughs> fulfilled by merchant. So now it's available. Uh, now we'll look at that little um, submarine thing. Give me one second. Let me just double check if anybody had any questions. Nope. Okay, so we'll get through this. Let's see. We're selling that for twenty two oh nine. I'm just gonna see. So so here's that product, right? And uh, you can see, look at your keeper chart. It's not, I'm not saying that this is exactly, but every time you see this drop, that's pretty much what it was. You had a sale. Uh, so you figure at 1788, maybe I want to change mine because I'm trying to sell mine for $22 and nine cents. That, that's probably not going to work. So watch what we do here because we got to, we got to evaluate this. Maybe we can make it work at a lower, at a lower price. And you guys know, I'm going to turn right around and let you know, just like I'm letting you know now, let you know what happens. Okay, so here we pay six dollars and forty cents. Okay. Now something this light, I know I'm not. I can actually, I can ship this first class. So I know I can get that out for five bucks or less. Uh, and if. We went 1788. See if we can make any money. We can make three dollars and eighty cents. 
you know what? Uh, and we we created this on the eighth as well. Let's just get it out of there. We gotta we gotta move this. Having the product sit around is is not what you want to do. And if you're getting a margin of twenty one, if you average twenty one percent. Think about it. You guys, you've seen my Seller Central account. You see the kind of inventory that I'm moving. You see the gross revenue that's coming in. You do the numbers. If you could average 21% of that, you might be doing all right. So that's what we're going to do. $17.88. And Done. Let me see. Nobody had any questions. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Tell you what. This product right here. I had sitting there and I was I was waiting. I don't know what I was waiting for. Because we don't want the product just sitting around. We need to get it get it moving. People are still buying stuff like this. But let's let's take a look. Hold on a second. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's just take a look. Now, look at look at the rank on that, guys. I'm using an extension called um, Scanalyze. If you want to be able to see it like this, I like it. But look at how I like how it puts it right in front of you. Look at that rank in toys and games. You already know that product is moving. Now, when we look at the at the the keeper chart, we're not seeing much. But let's 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 put it into um, tactical arbitrage. Let's put it into. See now you see a different look at now you see a different keeper chart, and you're seeing a keep keeper chart with rank, right? Look at I'm using I'm using the free version, and you don't get rank. So you see how like when you have tactical arbitrage, you get a lot more data. Now let's open it in tactical edge because this allows us to evaluate the product better. Is, is this making sense, guys? Okay, look at the estimated monthly sales. We should be able to, to move this. You only got one other person. He's got over 2,000 ratings. He knows what he's doing. He's got it in stock. Now, he's selling it for twenty nine ninety seven. I don't know if I could make that work because I paid fifteen eighty nine. So, what I might do now? Watch, because we're gonna do this together, right? We're gonna take that ASIN. We're gonna stick it in here. Twenty nine ninety seven. Uh, it's actually light. I bet I could get it. And eh, we'll say seven bucks. And we paid fifteen eighty nine. Uh, no, I could make more than that. With that rank, I could probably tack on another 10 bucks. But let's just see. Average price 90 days? I don't know. We might be pushing it with that. 
but but think about it. We haven't had this product that long. We know it's popular. We know there's only one person with it. We know they only have three in stock. A. And we also know that even if we had to sell it at their price of $29.97, we know that we could still make $250. We're not doing that though. That that's not how we're doing this. Uh let's see. Change to fulfilled by merchant. We'll convert it. And I'll come back to that later. Uh, and that's it. Let me let me go to my okay. If you haven't hit that like button, please go ahead and hit that for the working class hustlers of the world. Um, tell you what. We're going to do one more product. Now, just for the record, I have one more of these deep fries that I didn't know I had. I sold all the other ones. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to come out. We're going to type in Oster. Oops, if we could spell. We're going to add one. And actually what we could do, we could take a look. Before you just add one, let's see what the gang is doing. Look at that. Look at that rank. Man. Let's look at all buying options. 74.49. Let, let's look at something here. Now what we're looking at is the price. I'm just sort of moving this around to see. Yeah, you know what? We can change that to, we could change that to 74.49 right along with this guy. Was it 74.99 or was it 74.49, okay. Eh, you know what? I'll leave it at seventy four ninety nine. That way, his repricing software doesn't run and and start lowering his price right away. And I'll still make the sale within that range. I'll still make the sale because actually, I think he's charging shipping. I don't know. Uh, so that takes care of that. Now what we're going to do, this product, I don't even have listed out there. So I can just show you, for those who don't know, I'll go ahead and list this product. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay. Got 13 likes. Appreciate that, guys. Let me get rid of some stuff that I don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Just getting rid of some stuff. Now watch this. I'm going to show you. If I can find my. Here we go. Sometimes I can't remember. Uh what I paid on a product. But uh, we're going to look in my tactical arbitrage because I saved this product. This is this is how I used tactical arbitrage to source this product. And here you can see it's in my saved folder because you see that highlighted. And it's uh, air fryer baking pan. 
and here you can find it. I bought it at Target. Uh, let's see. I paid, I guess, twenty four ninety nine. Well, plus tax. Um. So what that would have costed me. Twenty-four ninety-nine plus six percent for Pennsylvania. So I paid twenty-six forty-nine. And guys, if you can get on this and it makes sense, then get on it, right? When you're watching these videos, you can be jumping on this stuff. Look at now. This may not be accurate anymore. This was showing. Uh, estimated sales. Let's look at it in Tactical Edge like we did the other product, right? I mean, I hope this is making sense. Guys, you see the numbers I'm doing and this this Amazon stuff really ain't that hard, man. I mean, you ain't got to make this hard. It's, it's not. You buy, so, you buy low, you sell high. This stuff really ain't that hard. But look it. Now, the estimated monthly sales are actually higher, aren't they? At the time I bought it, monthly sales was 40, 45. Now it's actually 64. At the time I bought it, the, are they showing the rank? No, they didn't even show the rank um, back then. But now you see the rank. Okay, now I'm telling you, a lot of people when you're when you're sourcing, a lot of guys don't want to go over fifty thousand. You're gonna lose. I showed you last week how I set my filters. Go back and watch that video. You gotta set your filters. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> I had I had to choke. I just had a corona moment. Has anybody had a corona moment? That's where something happens and you go, wait, do I have coronavirus? Cause I can't breathe or, you know, and your mind is sort of playing tricks on you. Put in the comments, have you had a, have you had your Corona moment? <laughs> but, but anyway, here's how you use tactical edge to make your decisions. Okay. Now at the time I bought, the Amazon price was around forty six ninety five, and look it. Looks like the the thirty day price has actually gone down a little bit. Right now, the buy box is at forty three, which means they're still they still have a buy box on this. Sometimes they'll suppress the buy box. So let's look at the product on Amazon, okay? Rank looks good. Um, then we'll look at, at the competition. Now, at this point, I'm going to have to merchant fulfill this most likely, but, but we're going to see in a minute. Uh, but right now, I'm just looking at, at new. So these are merchant fulfilled. And let's just see, watch what, what happens here. When we go into the um, tactical edge, this is showing us as if we paid $24.99. We actually paid a little bit more. So if we look over here, this is showing us what we would make. You'd have to drop that by a couple by a couple dollars, but I have found that this revenue calculator tends to be a little more accurate. So what? Watch what I do. It's not that hard, guys. It's work, but you can do this. Put that in there. Boom. Now. If we sold it for forty three dollars. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, let me see. Because we paid twenty six 
49. Something this small, it will actually go first class. I already know that. So, but just to be on the safe side, we're going to say it cost us seven bucks. So at that price, you'd make three bucks. I don't like that. Now, I, I may have to go with that. But look at, if we're saying he only has two, this guy has seven. What if we went where he is? Forty-six ninety-nine. I like that a little better. So that's what we'll do. Okay. Let me see. Did anybody have any questions? Nope. Okay. So watch what we do here. And this is one of the reasons why I like um, Scanalyze, because from right there, click on Restricted. And now we start building the listing. $49.99. Uh, Phillips Air Frying Baking Pan. I'm not even going to put the model number, because this is, this is not something I sell all that often. Right then and there, I put what I paid, $26.49. You don't have to do yours that way. If you're using software that's going to keep up with that, for example, you might be using, um, what's the name of that one software? Uh, uh, it'll come to me later, but there's some software, and I actually, I think I'm going to end up using it. Put the condition as used, I mean, not used, new. I'll tell you what, we're going to, I could actually see if they would let me send this in if I wanted to. I could go ahead and see if the, um, if the software, if Amazon would let me send it in. I doubt it, but you never know. Actually, before that, before that happens, let's see what would happen at $49.99. It would cost me about 50 cents to get it in to the warehouse yeah yeah I make a little bit more so let's see if it will let us so all you do save and finish uh, they, they would let us use the manufacturer barcode that's what that was we'll submit that and now what we'll do is we'll try to create a shipment and if it would let us, let's see. Oh, look it, it will. I didn't think that it would. So, so you see what happens? You, you got to try this kind of stuff. Now, I ain't even got to worry about it. Now what I want to do, now I want to go back to the product and I'm going to look and now I'm going to filter by prime. And let's see. Yeah, so we'll leave it where it is. Uh, so there you have it, guys. That's that's uh, that's how that works. Um, I think we're we're done with that. Let me see how far how long we've been out here. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Chase. Inventory Lab. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Uh, and yet, uh. No, I went, what, what did I do, Will? I went, uh, I went $49.99. But yeah, I plan on trying that inventory lab because it's supposed to be really, really good. I did the free version. It seemed a little clunky and I didn't use it because I just didn't put the time in to learn it. But trust me. I've learned my lesson because the same thing happened with tactical arbitrage. It was a little clunky, wasn't working right because I hadn't taken the time to learn it. Um, let me see. Nobody answered my question <laughs> when I was asking, did you get your stimulus? You probably thinking I'm about to ask you for some money. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you for your money. Okay. I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm just, we're working class hustlers. Did you get your stimulus? 
you probably don't want to hit my mouth because I'll probably say, well, take that, take that stimulus and, and get you some inventory and you don't want to hear it. <laughs> Did anybody get their, get their stimulus? Hold on one second while you're answering that question. Hold on. One, give me 30 seconds. Okay, I'm back. I had to heat up my uh, my coffee. But anyway, we, we've been out here a little bit over an hour, so I'm not going to take up too much more of your time because I got to get out here and I got to uh, do some sourcing today. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Sonia. <laughs> That's what you meant when you said it was more like hazard pay. <laughs> I got an idea. How about we see if I got my stimulus? Does anybody want to see uh, if if I get my my stimulus? Uh, look at. I'm gonna go to the IRS website and um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I got if I got my stimulus. I, I I'd like I I'd like some money. Uh, hold on a second. Let's see. Date of birth. When Lincoln was alive, let's see. All right. Right, so everybody want to see, everybody want to see my stimulus. <laughs> and yeah, ta-da! <laughs> Nothing, Zilcho. Payment uh, payment status not available. Isn't that nice? Uh, so anyway, let's get back to, to what we were working on. Let's see here. Oops. Logged out. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get logged back in here. Look at, did we get another order? I don't know. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, we did. Tell you what, um, Joe B got his stimulus. Uh, Will said, nah, nothing from Canada. Since I'm an essential worker, no check for me. Well, that's not right. We still get we still get our check regardless of, you know, whether you're working or not. As long as you meet the uh the financial requirements based on last year or the year prior's adjusted gross income uh on your taxes. So anyway, uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, let's see, I can get rid of this. I ain't getting no money. If anybody's interested, 
we do have a 12 module course out um, it's actually the highest rated on the site Udemy it's very affordable it'll give you the basics on how to get started most of you watching right now you already know how to do a lot of this stuff but for the benefit of anyone who um, who's new you do really want a complete course to kind of give you an overview that's that way you can get the most out of the channel and especially the live streams because we kind of we're coming from a standpoint of hey you already know uh, the basics okay uh, and let's do this let's go hold on let's go in and look at our channel real quick um, first of all we're up to 603 subscribers uh, and we're not getting lately we haven't been getting subscribers like like we were that's okay we do it anyway that's the see and remember this is how you tell when somebody really is committed to doing something because he does it when things aren't going all that great this is one of the smaller channels out there when it comes to selling on Amazon and that's fine because it's not about the channel it's about you meaning the working class hustlers that are out here right now as long as you're getting ahead that's what we really want at the end of the day now of course we want to grow the channel of course it would be nice to to get up to a thousand subscribers and all of this stuff and, and if you're not subscribing if you happen to be watching this I would encourage you to subscribe um, but you have to understand it's the lean times that really define a person right um, so let's look at our recent subscribers and I never get this right but okay so these were the last ones millionaire mind thank you for subscribing uh, Diego R thank you for subscribing oatmeal and T Charles we already talked about family tube we got y'all so I only had like you know we only had like two subscribers that's fine we're gonna look at our analytics real quick uh, just so we can get an idea of what's going on we're still up on our views we're still up on our watch times um, we're not up on subscribers we had this up in the 30s so I don't know what's going on because you would think with more people at home they would have more time to be on YouTube especially uh, learning something that they can do to get them some additional revenue right but hey it's what it is let's look at some of the comments real quick um, let's see Deborah said I agree with your comments will and K will K and Jim Smith he has a unique way of teaching great job okay I'm gonna give her a heart and a thumbs up and I'm gonna tell her thanks so much uh, Will K gotta say your style approach and pace really resonates with me more so than any of the gurus <laughs> and more popular resellers out there I feel confident that I could do this while working a full-time job yo this is really cool this is so cool to be reading this right now uh, hold on a second. which I'm grateful to still have in these times I and I definitely have the work ethics required to achieve success my only thing is that I'm not ungated in groceries but that's not going to stop me that's what I'm talking about high glory hopefully I'll get ungated soon I'm looking forward to joining under you and learning all there is to know to be successful. Peace definitely gets a heart, definitely gets thumbs up. You are a working class hustler. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else is going on. 
I just subscribed to your channel and wanted to ask how did you get ungated and would like to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Um, let's see. Watch this. Hit me at the number on the screen. It takes time to get ungated. But if you concentrate on what you can sell, you will be allowed in other categories when the time is right. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. You know, a lot of times I found that at the time I got uh, ungated in certain brands, um, and I'm not talking category, I'm talking brand. At the time I wanted it, I realized now I wasn't ready. And, and by the time they did ungate me, oh, I was ready because see, the more you do this, the better you the better you get and let me tell you something this this is very important before we wrap this video and and of course I want to go go into I want to go into tactical arbitrage just a little bit but before we wrap this video it's so important guys that you understand repetition 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 that is what's going to get you uh, the most success in this business. I, you know, a lot of times I like to equate what we're doing to sports. Uh, you remember the great, does anyone know the great John Wooden? He was a basketball coach. Uh, Vince Lombardi, uh, football coach. You look at these greats and you could come to them with all the fancy stuff and they'll go, yeah, that's cute. Now go, now go shoot 500 free throws. And he's like, coach, I know how to do that. No, you it's the fundamentals. So how does that relate to what we're doing? What we're doing here, how many ways can I tell you how to do this? If you're looking for something new, if you're looking for some trick, some hack, that's not what's going to get you the, the success. It's the repetition, doing the same thing that you already know how to do over and over and over again. Just like Michael Jordan, just like you know, Wayne Gretzky, just like these, these phenomenal athletes that were already gifted, but they kept practicing the same things over and over. If you're running around here looking for channels that are going to give you the latest, the new thing, you, you got it all. You got it twisted. You have got to get the fundamentals down and you got to stick to the fundamentals. You got to do them over and over again. This channel is going to continue talking about the same stuff over and over because you have to have your fundamentals down. Now, yes, you got to test new things. You got to try different approaches. You, you tweak things, but there are certain things that have to happen. For example, you must be buying all the time. And I don't care if you're sourcing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, you have to be buying. They call me La Machine. Almost 300 products went out yesterday before I went to work and I didn't have time to pack a lunch. So you know what I said? I'll eat tomorrow. I'll eat tomorrow. So get your mind right. Uh, let's see now. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to... We're at an hour and 15 minutes. I got to get going. But before I do, <laughs> somebody said, preach, Horace. <laughs> Jim says, excellent analogy. <laughs> Mike, you will be trained by me. You're getting trained right now, but you're already, 
you're connected, baby. Text me, call me. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I love what I do. And that's the approach you got to have. You got to love it, baby, because you, you got to work. So if you don't love the work, it ain't going to happen. I love getting up. I'm happy. I'm grateful. I start my day being grateful for another day for everything that's been given unto me. And I can go out there and get and run my business. You know, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, you stop and you think I've been so blessed. I really haven't been affected by what's been going on lately because nothing is stopping me from going out there and running my business. Now I was fortunate as a truck driver, that's essential personnel. So I'm still driving. We got to We got to keep America running. I've been fortunate uh, that I'm not down with the virus itself, but you know, you stop and you think everything that's closed. I don't eat a lot of fast food anyway. That's poison. So that don't bother me. Uh, I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. I don't drink. So I don't, it doesn't bother me that the state liquor store is closed. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm actually weird, <laughs> but I feel blessed. So on that note, let's look at tactical arbitrage for a moment. And of course, you guys already know what that is all about, but for the benefit of those who might not, this is where it all begins. This is what's going to do the heavy lifting for you. Okay. I got all kinds of videos that show you how to do it the long way, the hard way. And yes, you can do it that way, but this is where you would say, this software allows you to work smarter, but I'm not going to say the software allows you to work smarter and not harder. Okay. You got to work hard regardless. This allows you to work smart while you're working hard. This puts all of the work in front of you. Okay. Imagine there's a bunch of work and you got to work to go get the work. <laughs> that ain't what you want. What you want, let me show you what you want. Cause you gotta do the work anyway. What you want. You want that secretary that walks up to you and says, here, here's all your work. <laughs> Instead of you having to go round up the work, the work is brought to you. So that's what that's why this software is is so important. It does all of the work for you. Look down in the description. If you don't know how to use it, we got a whole series cost you nothing. Don't cost you nothing. Got a whole series that teaches you everything about it. Okay? But Let me just get over here to the pricing real quick. And just tap on, touch on that. If you go monthly, and this is probably the package you're going to choose. Uh, I have the full suite, but I'm a little bit more advanced. Uh, I do other things. But you can see by the check marks what you get. You get a seven-day free trial. Look down in the link. If you're going to try this, go ahead and click on my affiliate link. Get signed up under me. We're already connected in most cases, so that way you can reach out to me and get some one-on-one -on -one if you want, okay? We'll go fishing together. That's what I call it when we go sourcing together. We go fishing. I'm the expert fisherman. You get to sit right in the boat with me, and we figure out what kind of fish you want to catch, and I take you to the right hole where to, where to get it, and I'm just fishing. Anybody who has coached, has connected with me and worked to get with me can tell you, you just sit there in the boat, you watch, and I tell you what bait to use. I show you how to bait it. I show you how to cast. I show you how to, you know, uh, reel it in and all of this stuff. And you just learning. So that's available. 
But once you get in, okay, let me see. This is pretty much what it looks like when you get into your your um your dashboard, okay? Now you can see I got one search active. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the search manager just to take a quick look. Now there's a search going on, grocery and gourmet food because I love that. Um, and I have my, my filter set wide, so there's probably a lot of product in there. I'm just gonna go view data. I'm gonna put it on basic because that's the way I like to view it. And let's see. Now, I need to delete some old stuff out of here, but that's okay. It's all about the filters when it comes to um, tactical arbitrage. Okay. So what we're going to do, this is the source. These are the sites where everything is coming from. We're going to deselect everything. And you know what? I like Dollar, Dollar General. So we're going to click on that. Now this was a reverse search. So this is just giving you all types of sites. But I got a few that I just like. I probably should be branching out, but hey, whatever. Uh, I'm just clicking on the ones that I like. Let's apply that and let's see what we come up with. So we got 51 results and then it, you just look through and you'll learn how to quickly, you know, identify things. Um, let's look at this one. 27 cups, 27 count. Now, right here, you can see this is the price that it should be at Jet. This is the price that it should be on Amazon. Estimated monthly sales way up there. Uh, look at the rank. You only got four sellers. Your return on investment, 53%. Let's see. Because if it's not there, it says that it's in stock. But let's take a look. It is. And now we're looking, is it the price? Uh, this is showing tax, but I won't pay tax. Most people don't pay tax on food, right? It should be $12.73. It is. It is in stock. Now you're, you're checking, you're looking at your pictures, making sure that it's a match, making sure that the count is right. The number of boxes. Sometimes it's a 27 count, but it may be two boxes. Be careful. Amazon should be short selling it at 34, 45. Let's look. Uh, maybe not. But then again, be careful. This says 2487. That may not be including the shipping and handling, right? Okay, look at nobody has this uh, FBA. Now that could be because they're not allowing it. We would have to see. But what we could do, they're saying if we sold it for $34.45, we'd make $781. Well, it's not selling for that. So. I don't know if we could make any money on this or not at that price. Let's let's see for a second. What we can do is we can tactical edge it and that should give us the current info. Remember, we're paying $12.73. Remember, guys, this may not be a good deal for us today. That's okay. See, we would actually lose money Unless, now you do actually have a merchant fulfilled selling it at that price that we were looking at. 
Look at the stock. And it kind of gives you an idea. This guy only has 272 ratings. So he's kind of new. You know, these are some new jacks out here. Uh, I could probably come out here and decimate if I wanted to. But um, this just gives you an example of the type of work you have to do. Okay. You got, uh, let's see, 20 ounce of this coffee. And I can tell you right now, uh, I sell a lot of this, although this says zero monthly sales. Let's, let's look at that. I don't believe it. I know better. Look at that rank. Now, you know, doggone well, you're going to sell more than zero. So the software isn't, you know, is it without its flaws, right? Um, I would probably get this as part of a target haul. You know what I mean? And that's what happens. You pick a site and then you, you start adding to your cart at that site. Okay. Let me just make sure nobody had any, any, uh, comments or remarks before we, let's see. Nope. Okay, we'll look at one more thing and then I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to go into, we're going to go back to our search manager. We're going to go to complete it. And then you can see we did a, uh, a search on Sam's Club. I'm just going to brief over it before I run out the house. Look at you had 112 products added. Let's look at it. Now you may not see all of those because of the filters as they're set. Okay. Uh, let me look at my filters real quick. We only want Sam's club. So let's just make sure that's good. Okay. Category. We want all of our categories. So select them all. Uh, we'll apply our filters and let's see how this number changes. Still didn't give us everything. I bet if we went into advanced, we get everything, but I don't care because I just hate the advanced view right now. And look at, you know, we'd have to go through these and actually make sure that everything is good. Uh, 25 count, two per pack. Uh, Olive Garden signature. Oh, by the way, I can tell you, salad dressing sells. Um, let's look at this. Sam's Club. Now, it could be, yeah, you can only pick this up at the store. They don't ship everything, but it's the price, right? $6.98, $6.98. Is a two-pack selling for $24.79? It is. You got eight people selling it. Uh, I would probably just look at the prime, assuming we're going to be able to ship this in. Uh, this guy's back ordered. He's up there. He's around where I'm at. So, you know, he probably a working class hustler. Uh, if we wanted to, this one is back ordered. Let's see. Yeah, I would probably buy this 75% return on investment. I'd probably buy it as part of an entire haul. Okay. So what I would do is I go ahead and save this to my Sam's Club folder. You see how that's working? I created a folder so that I can go back to this stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm cautious with pop tarts. I'm cautious with them, but I've never got them from Sam's Club. And when I look at the number of sales, when I look at that rank, when I look at the number of sellers, it can be enticing. 
if you could actually get a 32 count for, for around six bucks. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and if it's really selling for twenty seven fifty eight on Amazon. Maybe look at that rank. Let's look at our prime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, and look at what you can make on that. It's even, it's, he's back order, but look at his price. Now, mind you, if you wanted to, you could get all up into the keeper chart, but I'm, I'm beyond a lot of that. I, I can just look at the rank and there are certain things that'll make me think, okay, I better check the chart and see this, see that. But you see what I'm messing up here. Um, I'd probably jump on that. Save it. And then I'm gone. Okay. I mean, there's just so much stuff out here. But that pretty much covers it, guys. I'm going to have to get on out of here because... As always, I think I went well over my time. Now we're at an hour and a half. It was it was supposed to be at an hour. Did anybody have any any other comments? Any last words um, before I dance my fifty year old behind out of here? If you want to connect. You can text me, text the words working class hustler to the number on your screen and we'll get you connected. I do offer coaching. Uh, I got one slot left. Um, let me see. Jim is saying, check the restrictions. You know what? I'll do that for you. Let's see here. I guess you're talking about on the, um, on the pop tarts i guess on anything you're saying check the restrictions huh <laughs> you know what so watch watch how we do it okay let's see here and then it's another reason why i like using scandalize right then and there i can check my restrictions and if it's going to let me list then i'm not restricted okay same thing here what if Olive Garden doesn't let people sell their product? Check their restrictions. Nope, I'm good to go. Um, and I would have checked that prior. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for reminding me, Jim. But, you know, when you get to my level of the game, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, they, they call me Golden Finger. You dig? I got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. Hey, sugar. So check this out. Let me just make sure. Hold on. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up. And I'm just going to dance my way on out of here. Well, you know what? I'll give it. I'll give a minute, just in case somebody had uh, had a quick question or something. There's a delay in here from the time that I'm speaking to the time you guys get it. So, Let me see, what did I forget? I usually forget something. Let's see. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody's asking, is Tactical Edge part of Tactical Arbitrage? Yes, it is. Make sure 
Make sure you go down into the um the uh, the description of this video and and watch those videos. We got a whole there's a link to the whole mini series on TA. You're gonna want to study that. Uh, oh, Sonia Willis says, tell us about the hummingbird extension again. Okay, so. So let's say you're in tactical arbitrage and you're looking at these vitamins or whatever this is, some type of sleep aid. So you might say, okay, boom, it's, it's good. It's 1988 at Sam's club. It's supposed to be 3736 on Amazon. Eh, it's in the ballpark. Okay. So what you could do to evaluate it from tactical arbitrage, you could click on tactical edge and it'll begin to do the entire process. And here you can look at all of your data. Now, what the hummingbird extension is now, it's an extension. I think it, most of your extensions work with Google Chrome or Firefox, uh, definitely Google Chrome. Most people call them Chrome extensions. And once you get it out there, it's pretty simple to get it out there. You just go to the um, to the extension store or whatever, and, and you know you load it. You need to be logged in to Tactical Arbitrage, and then from on from any product page on Amazon, you can click the Hummingbird app. First thing you're gonna see is the keeper chart. And like I said earlier, you're gonna see the chart with the rank on it. So this would be more like the paid chart. Then right from here, you can open up Tactical Edge. And the idea is from here, you can go ahead and start evaluating, digging deeper, okay? And then you could put your price in there. Um, you're getting all of your information that you would normally get with tactical edge, right? You, you're looking at your average price for 30 days, average price over 90 days, sales rank, current, average sell, uh, rank over 30 days, average rank over 90 days. How many fulfilled by Amazon? None. How many fulfilled by merchant? Four. It's even showing you what products were bought along with them in case you wanna make a bundle. OK, uh, that's a whole nother thing. Bundling. Now you can look at, you, at your competition. First of all, how do they rank on Amazon? This is a new guy. New guy, new guy, big time. OK, how many do they have in stock? Twenty three, five, sixty five, three. So when you get ready to price. Then, you know, all right. This dude's got some stock here. So do I really want to get into a war with him? Eh, maybe I'll just jump in here. Okay. How much am I paying? 1988. Put that in here. Now I can see what my profit would be if I price around a particular seller. What? What is my return on investment if I price around a particular investor, uh, uh, seller? Makes sense, guys. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I got to get going. Uh, we're at an hour and 40 minutes. And I got to get going. So um, we're going to dance our way on out of here. Music! Now remember, this 
is what to sell on Amazon. I'm Horace, respecting your mind, your time, and most definitely your grind. I done showed you how to get that paper. It's time to go get mine. But first, Thank you.